Umesikia women rep yenu akimweleza aki ya kwamba tuko na shida ya finance bill. You've had pinky pinky donkey talk about pesa ambao haifiki mashinani. And you've had your governor say categorically ya kwamba huku mbele musifikirie ati kuna taa. Hakuna taa. Ni mwangaza tu peke yake. Giza. Giza sorry. Peke yake. Giza. We have a very serious problem in this country. And that problem is called William Samoe Ruto. Namuskiza vizuri. He is called William Samoe Ruto. He is collapsing our country. Every single day you wake up. Every single day you wake up. Every single day you go to bed. Know that yesterday was better than today. Every single day he is collapsing our nation economically, morally, socially. And we must ask ourselves this question. Are you going to wait four years? Are you going to wait four years? Because what country are you going to have in four years' time? It is a question we must ask. And we say so here without fear in the house of the Lord. Because we must ask even the church Kwa sababu zamani wakati tulikuwa nafanya mageuzi and the time of the second liberation we had a very strong fraternity of religious sector they stood up for Kenyans they stood up against those who were being detained like my good brother Laila Molo Odinga and Jim here they stood up against the injustices of death even for the sake of their own lives there was a man called Bishop Muge, a Kalenjin from Eldoret, who stood up continuously against Moi, and he mysteriously was killed. But that did not keep the church quiet. Siku hizi, ni kama munaogopa. You are talking in platitudes. You are talking this way, this way. Ah, uh -uh. One of the key purposes of the church is to stand up for its flock. So I want to ask church members here in Uriri, niambie ukweli, niambie, namunie, uh, please, please tell me honestly, is your life better today than it was before the elections? No. Yes or no? no? Do you have more money in your pockets today than you had before the elections? No. Ah, yeah. Do you have more jobs today than you had before the, before the elections? No. Are things more expensive or are they less expensive? expensive. Are they more expensive or less expensive? More expensive. You have nothing. Now, you, this is the case all over this country. Ata wale wakwangu huku muranga ambao walipigia huyu kura they are suffering even more than you here. And no, I'm telling you the truth. Huku shida yao ni nyingi kushinda nyingi hapa. Hii ni dhulumai aina gani hii? What kind of curse do we have in this nation? And the curse is very simple. We have somebody who has decided, akisimama na mna hii, I want to cause pain on people. Akiangalia nyinyi mkiwa na furaha sijui ni nini na muuma uchungu 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 you have seen the, the how uh, this housing bill si ndio si mmeiona the housing bill was a bill that nobody wanted public participation said do not support they did not support this bill this levy Aye. they go against it 
What you don't know is that when it went to court, it is a tax, like in the budget, Haiko. It is not in the budget. When it's not in the budget, it means that a hero person should do When you are there collecting from you, we don't know where it was going. Now, the court has said it is unconstitutional. And he is still talking as though he has a war with the people. As though an apigana na wananchi. He is telling you I am still going on. He can go on with affordable housing. Lakini he or tax that levy he can no longer collect. Na ile ambao mechukua so far. Because we don't even know how much it is. Ama mjini munajua? Munajua? Lakini ni pesa yenu? He must return it to the people of Kenya. Arudishe. Kwa sababu hata akileta mswada huku mbele, don't be fooled. It cannot be retrospective. It cannot be backwards. Tuko pamoja? The one he has collected is unconstitutional. Return it to the people of Kenya. And if you do not return it, you have decided you are causing more pain. You have decided you are against the constitution of this land. You have decided to be a thief contrary to, the, to your oath. And we are going to ask the people of Kenya this question. Mutaendelena hii mutu ama mutaendelena hii? Mutakufa tena na tena ama yee aende? Mutangodia miaka hine kweli ama aende saa hii? Unajua ni uliwiza watu wakiambu na mna hii wakaniambia saa hii. I said tumpatia three months wakasema basi. Hiyo likuwa januari. Hiyo likuwa? Sasa ni miezi mbili. Na nikiambu, na wali mpati ya kura. Ako na miezi bili. And we do not issue threats. We do not issue threats. He works for us. We are the ones who have put him there to work for us. He is not our boss. The worker can recall the boss can recall the worker, can sack the worker. See deal? He works for us. He is enjoying our taxes. That is Italy. That is our Ushuru that is taking it there. He works for us. He has two moments to show Kenyans he is not about paying to us. Na kikosa hiyo, atajua wanaiji wako na mnagani. Amina taka kumuuliza hivi. Raila akishika hapa, unajua mimi nataka hiyo kiti. Mimi si sioni mtu mwingine, mimi naona Ruto. Naona? Raila akishika hapa. Na Jimmy ashike hapa, wun pala. Na Oregwa ashike tumbo yake namna hii. Muta mshikilia migu huku chini? Muta mkamata huku chini? Muta mkamata kabisa? You will not let us down? Let us be very clear about that. We cannot do it alone. We cannot do it without your spirit. Without your help. My good friend James talked about a borrower. Proverbs 22.7 says the following. A rich man shall rule over the poor and a borrower shall be a slave of the lender. Proverbs 22, 7. We are now in this country slaves of lenders. And it's important you know that and every day, Akitembea, he is making sure we are more and more enslaved. So anything you do, anything you try to do, will fail. 
And I'm not talking doom, ni ukweli. You know we must be realistic. Sinema kuambia shida ni nani? Ni mtu mmoja. We must be realistic. And we ask ourselves is this going to continue or not? I plead with the people who read it with all my heart. Injustice in this country from the time of Mugeberu wakati wa Mugeberu who brought independence here? It is the communities of the lake and what was were the mountain. Kweli ama si kweli? We are the ones who stood up against the Mzungu colonialist. We are the same ones who stood against a man called Moi who had become a local tyrant Mzungu colonialist. Tukasema tuwe apende asipende. Aliwa watu wengi. But your governor here, for those of you who are young, Mzimona Mrahi, this is a stone. This is a rock. You have a man and a half right here with you. When they were very few, six of them in parliament used to be called the bearded sisters. They were marked for assassination, for jailing, for everything. I think there are probably about two or three of you left standing. Begin my coffee hugger government. If they could stand up against a tyrant, an African Kenyan colonialist, when this media was not there, when if you spoke like this, we talk and I'm na you nashiko na police, unayoko detention without trial. When the only voice was BBC or VOA, na walitoa hiyo kitu called to a. Mageuzi ikaja ikatoa moi could not stand again. That is what led to IPPG. Sasa huyu jameni kweli atatushinda? Kweli atatushinda? Nyinyi mnaona a full term. Ni nasema you people are very courageous. Mnaweza ngojea another 4 years kwa hii uchungu. If you can sawa sawa. Lakini one thing I know Ziwa Victoria na watu wa mlima Kenya wakishikana this man is gone in the morning he's gone in the morning na si ukabila it is the will to stand up and fight that has been proved from time immemorial against injustice na hii ni injustice so i plead to you kwa sababu tuko kwa kanisa we are going to come and talk to you properly on the roads and in your homes. Prepare for what is coming sooner than you can imagine. God bless you. Asante ni sana. We appreciate The Kenya government is a dysfunctional government. And we are saying it is dysfunctional. One, when Kenyans thought that they elected Kenya Kwanzaa as a solution, they turned out to be the problem. And so long as Kenya Kwanzaa is in government, so to speak, we will continue having the, uh, the problems that we are having today. When those who voted for Kenya Kwanzaa thought the, uh, Kenya Kwanzaa was the answer, they have discovered that Kenya Kwanzaa is a disaster. And we are saying so without fear of contradiction because we are saying it is dysfunctional because we do not have what is called the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission. It is not in place. If there was an election to be held any time in Kenya, there is no Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission. And if President Ruto was ready and prepared <coughs> to answer that question and to determine that it was time to have the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, they would have processed the outcome of the national dialogue uh, in Parliament by today. But that Parliament, and we are saying we have a dysfunctional system and a government because even Parliament has become captive. <coughs> Parliament is com completely captured. And one of the prisoners of uh, the Kenya government 
is the MP for game. He is completely a prisoner. They took him and his mind. He cannot think also. <laughs> because even prisoners have brains. <laughs> but when you are imprisoned and your mind is also captured, then you cease to be a human being. How is it that when there was a bill in parliament like Mwishimua Christo Mbaka has said, and that bill proposed that there was going to be drastic increases of taxes. All taxes, including taxes that would impair uh, the, the, our, our, our living, the lives of ordinary people, that an MP would vote to ensure that your taxes went up when the easiest solution was to say, no, 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 we are not going to give our people any burdens. The taxes need to go down instead of going up. Ruto said that when he comes into government, he is going to save Kenya from debt. Now, debt is increasing every day. In fact, the biggest problem now we have in Kenya is debt. Yeah, yeah. And when you're indebted, you're also a prisoner. Yes. The President of the Republic of Kenya is captured by international financial institutions and he's also a prisoner. You have a prisoner for a president. If you're indebted, you cannot be a free man because everywhere he goes, he's being reminded that to pay your debts, pay your debts. I understand he's going to Italy. I'm sure that one of the issues that is going to be brought on the table is the money that they owe to international financial institutions. We got a dysfunctional government. We have a dysfunctional government because life is becoming difficult every day. School fees and many other things that you know we should be having a tax relief we're having a tax burden. So the choice for Kenyans is to stand firm and join with the forces who are represented by our leadership in Azimio and Jimmy Wanjiki here, who are saying we are going on the right direct, wrong direction and we must change course and make sure that Kenya is freed from this slavery yeah. and this domination. Raila said yesterday, and I said it earlier, any leader that comes out and says, I've got new jobs to go and be employed in another country, that is not a leader that we can give respect. No. A good leader is the one who creates jobs in his own country. Like in other countries, they are creating jobs to the extent that they want more people to go to those countries to do jobs that they cannot be able to fill up with their own citizens. This is modern day slavery. That Kenyans are being recruited to go and work all over the world. But these are not professional or technical jobs. These are menial, menial jobs. So there is nothing to be proud about, about the Kenya Kwanzaa government. These people have lost direction. And there's no day that we are going to have any relief. <coughs> Kenya is going to get worse. Yes. That is the truth. Yes. If anybody thinks that Kenya is going to get relief, it is not going to get that relief. And prayers can help. And indeed, the clergy here, we, we ask for prayers. But even God says prayers is not good is not good enough. Hard work is what can bring relief to our country. And prayers also by the wrong people. Not everybody who says, Lord, 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 they say in the Bible, will see the kingdom of God. So when politicians also become clergymen, be, be very, very, very careful. Countries where politicians carry the Bible all the time in their hands, like in Rwanda, eh? like in Burundi, they are in Ireland, you know, carrying the Bible did not help. The Bible only helps when truly in your heart you are a child of God, truly, truly. But not to use the church 
as a basis of politics to drive you in, into power. That is an abuse of religion and spirituality. Gematemo wacho, 